Hello folks, welcome to the first stream for Warzone 2100. Now Warzone has been out for... Well, a long ass time. <laughs> it first came out in 1999 under Pumpkin Studios, who published it, released it, developed it, that sort of thing. Actually, I think the publisher was Eidos Interactive, now that I think about it. Pumpkin was the developer. But anyways, we're sidetracked here already and we just started. Uh, Warzone 2100 is a RTS game, real-time strategy, and it was one of my favorite games back in the day. Um, partly because you can customize your own units pretty much, from the design of its transportation, whether it's wheels, half-tracks, that sort of thing, to what kind of weapons it has, and the body, and that sort of thing. So, uh, there's also a decent little skirmish mode that's available to it. But today I figure we are going to actually do the campaign. So to start with that, we're actually going to look at the intro sequence of the game. So let's do that, get you a little update on where the game is, and then we'll go from there. The NASDA system was developed to protect us. It was to be the ultimate nuclear deterrent. As it turned out, it was our executioner. Reports said that NASDA developed a fault during a routine systems check. Don't believe it. Someone wanted it to take us out. Those nukes were targeted on every major city around the world. NASDA was programmed to start the collapse. When the counter-strikes launched, its laser defenses and anti-missile ground sites failed. The world as we knew it ended. The nuclear winter hit hard. Disease and famine claimed most of us who had survived the nuclear strikes. Wars over cans of dog food took even more. We'd fled Seattle early in 86. We'd heard that the Rocky Mountains were relatively rad-free. After fighting off bands of marauders, we came across the base. Its personnel were dead. Killed by any one of a number of virulent diseases. We cracked the doors and cleared out the bodies inside. We knew that things would never be the same again. But we were determined to build a new world out of the ruins. We rebuilt the landing pads and brought the old systems back online. We were finally ready to begin the project. And there is the little intro sequence. And hello there, Gavin. Yes, uh, NASDA is, I think it stands for the North American Satellite Defense Agency or something like that. Something like that. I know it has to do with satellites. Um, and also, hey, that is where I live. Oh, hey. Well, hopefully you have protection from nuclear war if it happens. <laughs> now, I like to think that story-wise, Warzone is probably like a mix between Fallout and Terminator. Uh, Terminator takes place in a bit more of a current timeline, or at least it starts out in more of a current timeline, whereas Warzone starts out in 2085, which is a bit more futuristic and a little bit around when Fallout would take place, or the war in Fallout would start anyways. Um, but unlike Fallout, I don't think there's any major differences from the real world timeline in Warzone. So let's get started and, uh, see what we can do with the project. Now you'll see there's three different campaigns. Uh, you actually want to start with the alpha campaign that sort of starts you out and then it goes from there. Yeah, pretty much that's one way to look at it, Gavin, is Fallout with a 
Skynet aspect. Transport destinations follow. Alpha, Western Sector. Beta. Alpha, you are cleared for takeoff. Check. Good luck and good hunting. You lead Team Alpha, one of three expeditionary teams sent out by the project to recover artifacts from before the collapse. Your destination lies in the Western Zone. Commander, you are to establish a base in this sector. Once the base is established, begin your search for a pre-collapse structure located in this sector. This building is believed to contain advanced neural synapse technology that is vital to the success of the project. Power resource. Now I will say that neural synapse uh, technology is actually one kind of unique thing that uh, Warzone brings into the fold. So uh, we'll learn more about that as we go along. Oh, wait a Briefing second. Briefing commences. Scavenger raiders are approaching our base. Defend the base, then destroy the scavenger camps. Mission timer activated. And hello there, idiot 212. Alright, so first things first, we want to get our base set up. So we'll start with the power generator. It's always, to me, one of the more important things. And these raiders are already attacking. Mostly it's just uh, ground guys, so nothing too big to worry about. Construction completed. All right, so with that set up, we'll do our first little oil derrick, which gives us power for the power generator. And then we'll start to add power down on the uh, indicator down here. So starting out, you don't make too much power. As time goes by, you get more technologies that help, that, uh, bleh, help you out. All right, next step. Uh, well, I want to do a research facility. But I don't think we'll get anything to research just yet. I think we actually have to find the technology. Now, when you're playing a skirmish campaign, um, or a skirmish game, you'll actually already have everything available to research. You just actually have to go through the tech tree, which is a massive tech tree when it comes to Warzone. And then our command center, which will give us radar and allow us to design new units. And yep, as I thought, there's nothing available to research just yet. Now, while it would be possible for me to go out with these little starter units, I actually want to build up just a little bit. Get a few more units available to help me because there is a chance that I could hit too many enemies and, well they'd come from some other direction and attack my base. And then we'd lose the campaign real quick, wouldn't we? <laughs> you also notice that on this factory there's a F2 and F3. That means that you can actually expand this factory to produce uh, higher level units, which we'll do later on in the campaign. Now I'm doing two research facilities, you probably actually don't even need that many for much of this first campaign because most of the technology you'll find in little bits. Completed. So uh, let's see, completed. I think we can speed up the campaign a little bit too while we wait for our production to finish. And it looks like Control Production Plus completed. was the hotkey for that. Also, for you guys who are watching, uh, if you didn't already see, 
There is a link in the description below that leads you to where you can download Warzone 2100 and play it for yourself. Um, they actually released this game open Production source. Completed. It has to have probably been probably close to five years now that it's been open source. Um, I don't know the circumstances that led it to being open source, but hey, I'm not complaining. Production completed. Group one reporting. All right, eight units should be enough for now, so let's head on out. Unit. Now you'll notice that the units have little indicators showing rankings next to them. So that shows the number of kills that they've gotten. So for example, we click on this one, he has the little thing Production that completed. ranks him as green. One without is just a rookie. And the private first class ranking is trained. So eventually as they build up, they'll get better. Uh, I think it increases their accuracy and that sort of thing. Maybe their damage. I don't believe it increases hit points. No. And yes, Gavin, it is a lot like StarCraft. The only thing is that you can actually... Uh, well, there's actually a few good differences. Uh, for one, you can build walls, which is so nice. Um, we can't do it yet because we don't have the technology for it, but eventually we'll get it. Outside of walls, you also have the ability to uh, customize the units. So we'll eventually get more weapons and I can actually display that pretty soon. Hopefully. Group one reporting. Group one reporting. Production completed. I totally agree, yes. An RTS where you can't build walls is very Major frustrating. Because, personally, I'm a defensive builder, so I like the turtle strategy. Alright, so since we have that little thing up there, let's build another truck to send up and take that oil, Derek. Also, there's this little barrel there that we can grab. And that'll give us about, I think it gives about 100 in energy. Yep. Unit under attack. Production completed. Unit under attack. You'll also notice that the units automatically attack as they move, so you don't necessarily have to give them attack orders. Uh, it's good to focus up on more difficult enemies, but with the ones we're facing right now, those are scavengers, so for the most part, you really don't have to focus down on them. Uh, maybe their towers, because those ones are a bit of a pain. You can right-click on buildings to see what their uh, current health is. Alright, and we've uncovered another artifact from the scavengers. Power resource artifact recovered. Scavenger base detected. And you'll see we're researching flamer technology, which gives us a little flamethrower. Now these little things, I think APDSB. Well, let's see. If we look at this little intelligence display, it'll actually show us some of the different technologies. Now, one of the limitations of the Warzone engine, even after they've updated it, is once the screen gets like four pages or whatever, it stops showing. Weapon but you can at least click on it and see some of the technologies there. So, APDSB is Armor Piercing Discard Sabots Bullets. Increases machine gun damage. And I think it's the same with Weapon the Hardened Machine completed. Gun Bullets, yes. So it's a nice little thing to get uh, more information on the various technologies that you're researching. I just wish it wasn't as limited as far as uh, the number of technologies, you know, 
since there is probably well in excess of 100 technologies available that you Major end up filling up the intelligence display screen pretty quickly. Alright, so we finished researching the flamers, so we can go on here and put in a new unit. So Viper is the body build, Wheels is it's going to be its transportation, and then we have two weapons. You'll notice that this screen is separated by weapons and the systems. Systems right now we only have the truck, weapons we have the flamer and the machine gun. So we'll make there our flamer unit. And then we can close that out, go to our manufacturing screen, and build a few of those. Group three reporting. Group three reporting. Group one reporting. Construction completed. Group one reporting. Alright, so we got some machine gun turrets that we're working on next. That'll be very useful because we currently don't have any defenses for our base and that sort of thing. Research completed. Major research completed. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Group three reporting. Production completed. Group four reporting. How was your day? Eh, it's been alright so far, you know. Still enjoying my days off from work. Um, took a few extra days off, which has been enjoyable. So, other than that, not too bad. Um, been working on the little trailer I have for the Tomb Kings and Warhammer. My little uh, plan for that playthrough. And also been looking up uh, more information on how they're going to be, how they're going to play when uh, they do release on the 23rd. Production completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group three reporting. Group four reporting. Production completed. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Production completed. Unit under attack. The only bad thing about the flamer units is that they do take a little while to actually uh, reach a unit because they have to get pretty much like right on top of them to attack. Alright, so we finished that first little mission. Let's continue on. Congratulations, Commander, on securing the first zone in your sector and recovering the artifacts. We have an additional mission for you. 
This power surge was detected a few minutes ago by our HQ. Analysis of the pulse indicates a major power source to the south of our position. Investigate and secure the area. Recover any artifacts in the vicinity. Scavenger base detected. Mission timer activated. Group 1 reporting. Production completed. Group 1 reporting. Uh, did one of my flamers set itself on fire? Did very look, <laughs> very much look like that. <laughs> All right, so you guys are attacking from the cliff there. Let's try and take you out. And of course, you're going to try and either flee or get into a better position to attack. One of the two. Production completed. Also, something happened, and we now have a thou 5,000 power. Um, I don't think I accidentally did anything for the cheats. Whoops. But somehow we have 5,000 power now. Okay. Because there are cheats that you can use. You know, being an old RTS game, there are several different cheats that you can use for this game. So that's also a nice little thing. I mean when you need it, which later on in the campaign, you do kind of need it. Group one reporting. Yep, the new, uh, so with each new level that you do, you keep all your old units, and then the map expands out sometimes. Other times you have to actually go to another area and you get a transport that you can take uh, the transport can carry 10 units. Uh, sometimes you can get reinforcements with that transport, though. So, like one of the upcoming missions, you can only take the first 10 units that you get. So, he's over 5,000. <laughs> yes. Dr good old Dragon Ball memes. Okay, so we have our mobile repair turrets here that we can finally do. Definitely need that for my units over here that are kind of falling apart. Under attack. Group three reporting. Group four reporting. Group four reporting. Group two reporting. Group one reporting. In the meantime, I'm gonna clear out some of the civilian buildings over here, just to uh, make some room for better defenses and that sort of thing. Major research completed. Unit under attack. Major research completed. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Oh, we do have a couple of uh, bunkers over here. That's not exactly good. And it does kind of look like the flamers aren't attacking on their own, so we might have to uh, actually give some orders for some of them. You guys fall back while I start to build up some uh, guys to do some repairs here. So Viper, Wheels, go to Systems, and the Repair Turrets. Construction completed. Yep, you can heal existing units using the Repair Turrets. So we'll do a couple of those units now to uh, help out our guys. Actually, you know what, I'll just do one from there and then I'll do a few more machine guns there. Group 4 reporting. Construction completed. Group 1 reporting. Major research completed. Construction completed. Production completed. 
Production completed. Group one reporting. Now the repair guys will repair on their own if the units are close enough. Uh, pathfinding is a little funky sometimes, so sometimes you gotta watch over them and help them out a little bit. Production completed. Now one good thing about this game is, because it's a game from 1999, pretty much any modern PC, no matter how crappy, should be able to play it. So, if you have like an old laptop or something like that, it'll definitely work on it. So, always something good, especially if you have, you know, older laptops, older desktops, that sort of thing. Group one reporting. Research completed. Production completed. Production completed. Now the tank traps here that you see, unfortunately they don't really act like a trap. You know, they don't like actually stop the unit from being able to move anymore. They're more of just like a light wall. So let's see, they have 100 hit points. So yeah, they really don't have much in the way of stopping power if someone wants to attack them. But they're at least a barrier to sort of direct forces into a killing zone, so anything that helps in this game. Alright, so this force should be pretty adequate. How many do we got? 22 units? Yeah, they should be good. No! Someone help the little repair dude! Nice! So we finally found a twin machine gun. That'll be a nice little boost for us uh, later on, as I think that it doesn't quite double the amount of damage that you do, but it still boosts it. So since we're moving to the twin machine gun, I'm actually going to retire these units, so to do that, you uh, select them, you right click them, brings up this box down here, you hit return to recycle, and then recycle. And that wipes them out. Now the one good thing about doing that is once you do that, if a unit has veterancy status for example, that will actually be transferred over to the following units that are manufactured. So that's a nice little thing to uh, upgrade those units that end up, you know, distinguishing themselves over time. Major research completed.
And actually, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, let's actually look at uh, the damage. So a twin machine gun unit does, if you look at here, it does 29 damage with a rate of fire of 100. The regular machine gun does damage of 19 with a rate of fire of 120. Uh, let's look at the flamer just to see rate of fire. Okay, so the higher the rate of fire, the more often it attacks because the flamer is like one of the slowest things. So you know that because it's the little six there. All right, so let's continue on. So a regular machine gun fires faster, but the twin machine gun fires almost the same rate for about a third greater damage. Eradicated. Artifact detected. Group one reporting. Group one reporting. Artifact recovered. All right. So, oh, because we got this thing over Production here. Production completed. I was going to say, gently, uh, that completed. finishes it. But we have this one little thing over there we got to take out. Major research completed. Group one reporting. Group one reporting. Group four reporting. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Production completed. Scavenger. Objective accomplished. Briefing commences. We have recovered valuable power generation technology. Research it, then use it to upgrade your power generator. We can then begin our search for the Synaptic Link technology. Alright, so this Production mission here is actually one that gives you time to rebuild and that sort of thing. Which is actually a nice time to have to go over your base, make sure everything looks good as far as the fences go. Group 3 reporting. Group 1 reporting. And it looks like I only have one repair unit that survived all of that, so let's bring him over here. So in the meantime, I'm using this time to uh, work on my little expeditionary group. So they should be almost done here. And once they're done, I will do the little upgrade for my power generation place. Ooh, something attacked here because that guy took a lot of damage. Production completed. Group one reporting. We'll also make a little sensor unit here. Now the sensor is pretty much useless um, as far as offensive capacity goes. At least at the start of the game. Uh, later on it actually proves to be a focus point for artillery, which also Major is a big a big aspect of this game later on. Group one reporting. Group one reporting. Production completed.
But the sensor unit does give a wider field of view, so that's kind of nice too. Construction completed. Construction. Commander, the first two zones are now secure. Transport reconnaissance reveals numerous pre-collapse ruins near this location. Load an assault force into the transport. The transport will then fly you to the landing zone. Upon landing, explore the ruins and recover any artifacts in the vicinity. Mission timer activated. Well, the sensor unit, uh, so what does it do? Uh, pretty much what it does is, beyond giving a wider field view, Production. You can assign units that are artillery units, like mortars, howitzers, that sort of thing, to that unit. Then that unit is able to sort of attack like a particular unit, which causes those artillery units to fire on that unit. So it's a very neat little thing. Um, and then there's also a mechanic for a command unit like that, that we'll see later on as well. Alright, bring reporting. you in over there, you there, and those guys over here to repair. Anyways, our transport's ready to go, so let's head on out. So that was really loud. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be that loud. Alright, so group 2 here needs to make it all the way down to this valley and back within 13 minutes. So I think they can do it with the twin machine guns. Yeah, that did hurt a little bit using my headphones. <laughs> yeah, I don't, and I don't know why. I don't remember it being that particularly loud, but I know they have a different set of uh, cutscenes that are a little bit more higher quality than in the original game. So it could be that the uh, audio was changed a little bit in it too, so... Return to LZ. All right, what was that research there? Ooh, a heavy machine gun. Okay. And then we'll do a comparison of the heavy machine gun versus the twin machine gun as well once we finish research on that. Now, it might look like things are going pretty smooth for this mission, but they do eventually show up with a little bit of a force here. Return to LZ. And for the return to LZ part, you actually have to get all the units into the Objective little square. Accomplished. Briefing commences. Information discovered at the previous mission site indicates a pre-collapse research center at this location. Investigate it and recover any artifacts. We have reason to believe that the scavengers operating in this zone are more technologically advanced than those previously encountered. You are advised to scout their positions before committing to an attack. Reinforcements are available for this mission. Mission timer activated. Group 2 reporting. 
All right, so we're gonna repair our little expeditionary force here before we send them out. Uh, still got a few minutes to go on the heavy machine gun. Alright, I think they're all repaired, so let's put them aboard. So whenever you are on a mission like this and need to bring in reinforcements, you go up to the load transport option and it'll show you all the units that are available from your main base. So we'll just load up a whole bunch of units here and then I will do one truck as well just to build up some defenses at that location. And each mission has a different time for Major the amount of time that the transport takes. Some only take about a minute, some I think it goes up to about five minutes uh, for the longest amount of time for reinforcements. But you also have different missions too that can go as far as uh, as long as two hours on a timer. I did lose the other repair unit, oh well. I really enjoy the concepts of this game. Yeah, you know what? It is a pretty decent game as far as uh, its overall idea. I'm actually kind of disappointed that they never did a sequel to this game. Uh, I think there was a report of a sequel named Warzone 2150. How true that is or not, I, I'm not sure, but it would have been nice to see a sequel. Uh, one game that is like this one is Earth 2150 and Earth 2160. Uh, those the plot ideas are different, but like this one, you can set up different, um, you can sort of build your own units and that sort of thing, which is a nice little feature. Uh, it's not as in-depth as it is in Warzone, though. Like in Warzone, like, it gets really deep, and you also have artillery, which later on becomes like a huge thing in this game. Or at least a huge boost, anyways.
Now you might be wondering what the blue things are. Those are actually rockets that are being launched out. Uh, rockets do pretty well against wheeled units. So, which is what all my units are. So those can be pretty bad if uh, things go wrong. And if they're allowed to focus down on my units for too long. Incoming transmission. Scavenger base detected. Commander, recover any artifacts held by the scavengers at this location. Unit under attack. I don't remember ordering those units to come over here, but okay, whatever. Group two reporting. Well, group two only lost one unit. Was it the repair unit? I think that's what it was, so that's not too bad. Unit under attack. Return to L3. Objective accomplished. Project team updates. Team beta report. Our exploratory teams have recovered a few artifacts. There is another force operating in this sector. So far, we've kept away from them, and they from us. They appear better equipped, but have made no hostile moves. We are proceeding with caution. Team Gamma, report. Nothing to report. It's quiet and peaceful up here in the mountains. We've discovered no artifacts and have encountered no hostiles. Commander, we're picking up encoded signals at this location. Take a scout force to investigate the signals. Use trucks to build defenses at the LZ. Once you have scouted the area, use reinforcements to clear and secure the zone. Mission timer activated. Group 2 reporting. Group 2 reporting. Major research completed. Alright, so we've recently done some more research here. Uh, we're continuing to work on the mortar, but we also finally have half tracks. So we have the Viper, half tracks. You, will know, you know what? Let's do a machine gun on it. So if we look at its total health, it's at 370. A unit with, uh, well, let's see, my twin machine gun has 255. So more than 100 extra health, which is definitely a little boost to its tankiness. Uh, its movement, 117 versus 137, so a little bit slower. Looking at its damage, though, it does 36 damage with a rate of fire of 85. So the 36 is a further improvement. Overall, I think probably between rate of fire and everything, the twin machine gun is still a little bit better, but it's not bad. Production completed. Production completed. Group two reporting. Group 
two reporting. Group two reporting. Group two reporting. And while we have a moment here, actually, let me take a couple of these guys and turn them into those half track machine gun guys. So we have a couple uh, sort of tankier units in this army. Major research completed. And then after those guys are complete, I'll make a little group of uh, mortars. And then we can demonstrate some of the uh, basics of artillery here. Oh my god, yes. So, Warzone is for PlayStation. Having played it on emulators, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, the PlayStation version doesn't have a skirmish mode, for example, so that kind of sucks. And I believe you're limited to only 40 units total. So yeah, I mean, this was on PlayStation. Uh, I never played it long enough to make a comment on the controls for it. But, uh, yeah. From what, I, from what little I saw, I wasn't impressed. Incoming transmission. Warning, you are entering a restricted area. Return to where you came from, or be destroyed. Repeat. Return to your designated zone, or be destroyed. Message ends. Also, the little logo thing for those guys is like one of my favorite, like, auditory moments from this game. I don't know what it is about that little slicing of the sword sort of thing as that logo appears, but it's a nice little thing. Alright, so let's look around here. I think I was actually supposed to bring a truck to build up some defenses, but... Eh. Major research completed. Why build when you can destroy? Exactly! So, and eventually I think I will get reinforcements available for this mission anyways. And then once I do that, I can actually bring in some forces to uh, build up. Also, for let's just comparison purposes, let's change that over to that. So that adds an extra, let's see, 30 to 95. So an extra 65 health going to the half tracks for the repair units. Because I just noticed he's only at a measly 130. That's pretty, pretty bad.
Scavenger base detected. Reinforcement is hard to have. Unit under attack. Alright, so I think I have some of my mortars available here. So we'll bring those aboard. Mortar, mortar, mortar. Let's do a Viper. Machine gun, machine gun. And it doesn't look like it made its uh, sensor turret guy yet. So we'll just do another of those. And let's send them all along. will not go unpunished. You are in contravention of the new paradigm. Message ends. I like to think that the new paradigm is what happens when Anonymous gets a little out of hand. You know, they got the whole robotic voice thing going and all that. Unit under attack. Yay, we can start building cannons now, too. Lost my repair unit again. Unit under LP Let's see, it is insane to think 1998 StarCraft was released in 97 Age of Empires. I wonder why Warzone didn't reach the same level of glory or fame since it is really well done for 99. Um, that is a good question. Why didn't Warzone become a big success like the other RTS games? Um, uh, you know what? I just, I don't know. Because, I mean, I used to enjoy this game with my friend, like, all the time. Back when it first came out. We'd play it, um, we'd do LAN games with it, and... It really was a great game for when it came out, and it really should have received more praise than it did. The only thing that I can think of is perhaps just the... It could be marketing, you know, that sort of led to it. Alright. So I just assigned those mortars to our sensor unit here. And as you can see, the range on those is so much greater than my normal units. Assigned to sensor. reporting. Also, it looks like I can only assign four, four of those uh, mortars to one sensor unit. Or at least one sensor unit that's just a rookie. That is cool. Finally, a game where artillery is actually useful and somewhat realistic. That I definitely agree with. Actually, I mean, this is probably the one game where artillery is... Major research shown like really realistic like you can f there's certain artillery pieces that can fire pretty much all all the way across the map um, depending on the size of the map and that sort of thing group two reporting group two reporting group two reporting
construction completed. But yeah, the only reason I can think of as to why Warzone didn't do well is probably a mixture of marketing and just the fact that its developer, I mean, its developer stayed around long enough to produce updates for this game up to, uh, like, version 1.10. Um, and it was a mixture of decent updates, too. But after that like pumpkin studios pretty much shut down and fell apart so i don't know what exactly happened with it um Group two reporting. much like that time i mean there were all manner of issues i don't know if pumpkin studios was maybe i wouldn't say it would be part of the dot-com bubble research. because it wasn't a dot-com but at the same time maybe financial Things were going around and ultimately led to that. I don't know. But yeah, the artillery is awesome because once it gets into range, you are pretty much in trouble. Where did my little sensor unit go? Oh, there he is. Okay. It's really sad that marketing kills games. Oh yes, I totally agree. Because there are some really great games that just never got the marketing for it. And, you know, if a game doesn't turn a profit, ultimately, you know, it goes into the dustbin of history. LucasArts, for example, has done some awesome games that are totally underrated. I mean, Star Wars Rebellion for the time, I think that came out in either 97 or 98, but I mean, that was an amazing game for its time, considering the grand strategy aspect and how, like, if you look at grand strategy today, you know, with Crusader Kings and all that, I mean, it's a great genre. It's just that at the time, you know, it didn't really take anywhere. Um, but that was also kind of the great thing about LucasArts 2, is LucasArts could do those games that could kind of go under the radar. Because it was just sort of the nature of LucasArts. And it's so sad nowadays that it's now become part of the whole Electronic Arts thing, since Electronic Arts has the rights to the Star Wars games that it's so focused on making money that it doesn't take any risks. Technically, 2005 is Battlefront 2, but yes, Battlefront 2 is really another great game that, yes, it was based off of Battlefield, um, but at the same time, it took its steps to do different things that, I don't know, it just, it was a great game. It's still a great game, don't get me wrong. Alright, this may have been a bad move on my part getting this close, but we'll see. Because those cannons, those are horrible against vehicles. Uh, well, horrible for me anyways. It's all right, Gavin. It's all right. Now you said you are going to school now. If you don't mind me asking, how old are you? Eradicated. Artifact detected. 
objective accomplished. Briefing commences. Analysis of the destroyed base indicates that the armored force recently encountered was a part of the new paradigm. The new paradigm is a survivalist organization dedicated to creating a military state in the Western sector. The new paradigm has been active since the collapse and controls superior weapon technology. They have been arming the scavengers since our arrival. Caution is advised when their forces are encountered. Interrogation of scavenger prisoners has revealed that the new paradigm are searching this sector for the synaptic link technology. It is 98% certain that they have recovered it. Therefore, we must recover the technology from them. Commander, we have recovered a command turret from the new paradigm. This turret allows commanders to coordinate attacks between assigned units and to act as a delivery point for factories. Researching and using this technology has the highest priority. Commander, we are receiving this transmission. Incoming transmission. Your attacks upon us will not go unpunished. You are in contravention of the new paradigm. You will be destroyed. Message ends. Commander, we are detecting enemy attack forces at this location. Repulse the attack, then destroy their bases to secure the zone. Mission timer activated. All right, so now they're going to come and attack us again. All right, so let's get our forces sort of organized over here. Uh, and you're 19? Yeah, that's, uh... So pretty much you were, what, 5, 6, 7... You were about 7 when Battlefront 2 first came out, so... You know, it's hard to expect you to that... To specifically know that game, you know. You know, I was 18 at the time when it came out. So I was pretty much your age when Battlefront 2 came out, so... You know, I, I grew up on those games, and I grew up on a lot of good Star Wars games in the 90s and that sort of thing, in early 2000s. Told you those sword sound effects are really satisfying. <laughs> and yay, our hardcrete walls that we can finally start to build. Also a factory module. Alright, so this mission gives us two hours to complete. So we have a good amount of time here to get things going. Uh, we'll build up... Well, let's see. Gotta build a command. Uh, relay center. So we'll do that over here. Structure under attack. Major research completed. And we have a whole bunch of bunkers that we can research now. Uh, nice. If I do have one complaint about this game, it's the pathfinding. Uh, the vehicles, even nowadays, even after the team that has taken over this game has taken over, there's still issues with pathfinding. Your first Star Wars game was Jedi Outcast. Yeah, my first Star Wars game was um, X-Wing. Back in probably like 93-ish. So... I played X-Wing before it was remastered, so... <laughs> or improved upon, or whatever they did. Not exactly remastered. Be nice if they did a remaster for X-Wing and all the other games in that series, but... Yes, a very far back throwback. Yeah, I think I played that on my first computer 
that I got. Let's see, I got the computer back in '92. Well, te completed. technically, my dad got the computer, but I played games on it. So. Major research completed. Group four reporting. Group three reporting. I think the first couple PC games that I was into were Star Wars X-Wing. Um, there was this DuckTales game that was on PC that I really liked. And then uh, SimCity 2000. Those were like my three big games that I had always play back in the day. Major research completed. Group two reporting. Major research completed. Group two reporting. Group two reporting. Structure under attack. Group two reporting. Construction completed. Also, we're working on our first medium body here, the Cobra. Once we do that, I'm pretty much going to work on creating a force made mostly of those guys because in this game, once you get a heavier body, there's generally not much of a reason to have um, the lighter units in play. Uh, mostly because they're just weaker. The only thing the lighter units have on the heavier ones is speed. Let's take a moment and upgrade our units here. Uh, there is some kind of bug going on in the current version of Warzone, or at least the version that I have, that uh, once you go to make a new unit, like for whatever reason, Hopefully it's resumed properly now. <laughs> My age brings in ignorance. It's alright, it's alright. 
it's not age, it's just experience. And I had a lot of gaming experience as a kid, so. Yeah, I have no idea what exactly happened with the stream there. Uh, for whatever reason, it went down for a little, and I noticed that YouTube suddenly said, Oh, hey, your stream's down. And then uh, you were saying that too, and I was like, wait a second. I know Twitch said, sorry, we were unable to connect to chat, reconnecting in two seconds. I have no idea what, so I have no idea what happened. If it was on my end, if it was on Restream's end, since that's what I use for streaming. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened. But anyways, just uh, updating my units here in their little thing. Um, let's see. Yeah, as you can see, the uh, body points upgrade is a huge difference between the Viper and the Cobra, so almost an extra 200. Under attack. Now you'll notice that I'm building up the uh, third area for this uh, factory as well. The reason that I'm doing that, even though I don't have the heavy bodies available yet, is that third area still brings a bit of a difference as far as uh, construction, construction time goes. Construction completed. So I'll do an example here in one moment. Construction completed. Alright, so for example, let's do a machine gun. So that's going to take 22 seconds. Completed. Over here, 34. So there's a pretty big difference of like 10 seconds from the level 3 factory versus the level 2. So let's build up a few more units there. And we'll do one of those guys. Production completed. Construction completed. And we'll do the same over here as well. Four machine guns to one commander. Scavenger base detected. Production completed. Production completed. Major research completed. Scavenger outpost eradicated. Power resource. Production completed. Production completed. Group 2 reporting. That commander unit is going to be really useful. Yeah, you know, they should be pretty useful. Uh, let's actually do an example here. So there's the commander, Production here's the four completed. guys that Production go with them. Completed. Assigned to commander. And then pretty much you just have to really worry about the commander units. Uh, let's see, so you're doing that and that, okay. Group 1 reporting. Group 2 reporting. Production completed. Production completed. Group 1 reporting. Also, I should continue all of this research that Production I have here. Uh, medium cannons, those will be good as well. Assigned to Commander. Group 1 reporting. Group 1 reporting. Alright, so this force here is made up of the two commanders solely, and then each of their four units. Completed. So, if this goes well, the commanders will be able to focus Unit down. Under attack on uh, various units and their Production little completed. followers will uh, follow through. Group two reporting. Group two reporting. 
And we'll use group 2 here to act as more of a uh, little uh, artillery force. Now, if I remember correctly, each unit... Oh, nope, they can take six units. Okay, so I was off. I thought they could only take four at the start. Because of that little uh, animation that they showed at the start of it. But no, they can actually take six. Okay, well, something to know. I could probably add a couple of these guys over. And actually, you know what? I could probably add some repair units as well. But I need to actually make the repair units too. Major research completed. I wonder why they picked Seattle of all cities. I don't feel there is anything special about us aside of our pointy tower, the Space Needle. Um, actually, if you... They didn't actually pick Seattle They to uh, stay in. They picked the Rocky Mountains sort of outside of Seattle. Um, I think they came from Seattle, um, so I mean they're probably like in that area kind of, although the animation that they show kind of shows more of Colorado-ish in that little opening segment. Although I've been to Seattle before and it's not a bad place to be. You know, I, I enjoyed my stay in Seattle, even if it was a little expensive. Soda here, 16 ounce, it is about three dollars. Now did I hear correctly somewhere that Seattle just started a uh, like soda tax or sugar tax or something recently? Because where I live, because um, I live near Chicago and they recently got finished with that, like they had that for a few months. So if I move my little sensor guy up to the top of this, hopefully that'll help him scout out any potential areas to attack. Group one reporting. Give us some time to repair our units here. But yeah, I like Seattle. Um, about as liberal as they come, but there's certain taxes and that sort of thing that some of the cities do that they need to do a better way of handling it. It's just, it's a little bit of a mess, the way some of the cities handle things as far as taxes go. Major research completed. Group one reporting. Major research completed. Assigned to commander. Group one reporting. Group three 
reporting. Group one reporting. Yes, we have a permanent soda tax. The reasoning why was something about diabetes or something. I've heard many things about it. I don't know why. All I know is I can no longer afford soda. Yeah, you know, I've heard the same thing for what they did for Chicago. Um, you know, it, it sounds great on paper, sure. But the fact of the matter is, if people don't actually decide on their own to change up their habits, I mean... They're just going to find something else to go to. So, it, it's not going to hold things over. Is this the little green soldier man? Hello there, Diego. Uh, no, they're not exactly green soldier men, but... Uh, <laughs> at least not yet. But, uh, you know, it's a fun little game so far. Alright, so let's get our commanders going. So we can uh, continue on along here. Group three reporting. Major research completed. Construction completed. I used to have the actual miniature models of the green men. I used to pretend battle with them that I was bored. Oh yeah, you know, I mean, this is... I mean, it's. I suppose you could kind of consider that it's a little like some little green army men. If we could turn down the FX volume a little bit. The gunshots were a little loud and probably weren't going together well with my voice. Major research completed. Unit under attack. But yeah, think of this game as little green army men that you can build your own and then um, go out Unit and destroy your enemy. <laughs> you also have a like massive research tree that you can do as well in this game, so. Yay, rockets! Lowering the sound effect volumes won't re remove the horrors of war. Oh, the humanity. <laughs> Artifact detected. Unit under attack. Artifact recovered. Enemy base detected. Unit under attack. Enemy base eradicated. Unit under attack. Group 1 reporting. Unit under attack. <laughs> yeah, Diego joined me on one of my streams. It's been a little while. Have you guys seen the actual surprising new historical Total War? I have actually seen that on Three Kingdoms. Um, it'll be interesting to see how they uh, go about doing it. I probably won't check it out immediately. Uh -oh. Project team updates. Commander, we are detecting enemy transports landing to the north of our position. Take your forces and secure the northern zone. Major research completed. Yeah, depending on the size of the map, I might uh, check it out. As I've said in some of my other streams, I'm not too big on smaller maps for Total War. 
like uh, Britannia doesn't interest me too much and the uh, Shogun hasn't interested me too much but I, I might be interested in three kingdoms depending on how things look and how large it's gonna be Oh, don't worry, Diego. I wouldn't delete your Pokemon saves. I can't speak about time, though. Time is the ultimate destroyer of Pokemon saves. Run away, little repair dudes! Or just stand there and die. And not even repair your... ...selves. Whatever. Enemy base detected. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Also, let's take a moment and look through our units. Alright, so we can build some medium cannon guys as well here. So let's set those up. And we'll do some rocket guys as well. And then we can start production on those guys over at the base. And eventually we'll have them be able to join our forces here. Unit under attack. Under attack. Production completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Production completed. Unit under attack. Artifact detected. Unit under attack. Artifact recovered. Production completed. Unit under attack. Do I even still have my repair units here anymore? It doesn't look like it. Unit under attack. Production completed. Research completed. Production completed. Unit under attack. Group 3 reporting. Group 1 reporting. Production completed. Yeah, Gavin, Production I'd say that's completed. probably a valid concern Major that research. a lot of people have is that Creative Assembly is going a little... They are working on a lot right now between all of the stuff going on with Warhammer, all of the stuff going on with um, the two Production different completed. historical Gavin things that they're working on, Britannia and then uh, Three Kingdoms. Uh, the main thing I'd say is so long as the team at Creative Assembly is wide enough to do it, then they should be alright. Scavenger outpost eradicated. Production completed. Group one reporting. Project team updates. Commander, the structure we seek is located somewhere on this plateau to the west. 
Destroy the fortress guarding the plateau, then search for the pre-collapsed structure. This structure is your primary objective. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Ooh, this is a lot of bunkers here. Unit under attack. Incoming enemy transport. Unit under attack. Group 3 reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group 1 reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Scavenger base detected. Scavenger outpost eradicated. Hey, the cyborg factory. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Major research completed. Unit under attack. Artifact detected. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Artifact recovered. Group one reporting. Group two reporting. Enemy base eradicated. Construction completed. Group one reporting. Group two reporting. Also, finally, I can do a research module here, too. Nice. That should hopefully increase my uh, speed of research. Because now I'm, like, backed up on a whole bunch of research things. I might need to do more uh, research, research places, Unit actually. Under attack. Unit under also, it is pretty neat that the enemy has... Uh, landing zones that it can use itself so nice little touch So it should just be this one last little thing, reporting. and then we'll be done here. Construction completed. Group three reporting. Group four reporting. Group two reporting. Let's see, so we have 12 guys there. It looks like I could probably put most of them all onto one commander. So let's split these guys off a little bit. Assigned to commander. Group two reporting. Construction completed. Major research completed. Group one reporting. Group one reporting. Assigned to commander. Major research completed. Assigned to commander. Oh yeah, I forgot these guys down here are probably going slow. Because they have the cannons.
Group two reporting. Stellaris has been intriguing to me lately, having a lot of fun learning it. Newbie, will you play Stellaris? Well, I've played Stellaris before. Um, this was several patches ago. Uh, I did a game with Merrick um, that went pretty well, and we actually completed the game, which was surprising. Uh, I haven't completed too many Stellaris games, so that was a nice little thing, and it was a fun little game. It was right when um, the War in Heaven and all that started. Uh, that update. So whatever one that one was. It's been a while. Uh, outside of that, I don't know. I mean, it's probably something that I'll look back on at some point. There's quite a bit going on on my plate at the moment. Uh, Got to finish a couple of Total War games and that sort of thing. Um, oh, it's something to consider. One thing I'd like to do one of these days is do a Star Wars Stellaris run. Like, uh, oh, what's his name? The XP Gamers. I think he's done a Star Wars run of Stellaris before. So that's one thing I'd like to do one of these days. Uh, maybe after 2.0 in Stellaris comes out, it might be something worth looking into. Alright, where are these guys that I need to finish taking out? I thought I took out all of them, or all their bases. Construction completed. Group two reporting. Assigned to commander. Research completed. Group two reporting. Group one reporting. For the Empire, for the Empire newbie. Do you know the way? Oh god, <laughs> not that. <laughs> I still don't understand how that Knuckles, Uganda Knuckles thing became a meme. I really don't understand. It's just so stupid. <laughs> Where are you people? Yeah, this is one thing that can be frustrating at times, is sometimes they will disappear on you. And you gotta hunt down their last little bits. Eradicated. And is that it? Maybe not. <laughs> what the hell? Where are you guys at? Okay, so we looked along there, looked along there. Maybe there's some random units over here. Group 
one reporting. Construction completed. Research completed. Research completed. I don't think there was anything in particular that I had to research, unless it was the Lancer rockets. I don't think it was that, though. I think all I had to do was... Well, uh, right. Since we're having a moment... Commander, search. you are to establish a base in this sector. Once the base is established, begin your search for a pre-collapsed structure located in this sector. This building is believed to contain advanced neural synapse technology that is vital to the success of the project. Locate and recover neural synapse technology, establish base. Well, that's pretty much what we were doing. So that's not it. Major research oh, hell. completed. I'm confused. Confused. Group two reporting. Group one reporting. Group two reporting. Group two reporting. Group one reporting. The only other thing I can think of is that there's some random unit stuck somewhere that is preventing me from completing this mission. Group one reporting. Group three reporting. Group one reporting. Group two reporting. Major research completed. Okay, yeah. I'll repeat again. My one complaint about this game is that sometimes you have this happen. Where there's some random object objective somewhere around here that you need to complete. But it's like gone somewhere. So, if I don't complete it in the next few minutes, I'll just end it, figure it out, Major and then we'll continue it on the next stream. Um, I think I might do this on Thursdays, so Warzone on Thursdays, um, Warhammer on Sundays, finish that up there, and then Tuesdays will be uh, Rome 2. Let's build a censored thing here. Just to see if maybe that could be it too. And unfortunately, the units don't have a search and destroy function. Be nice if they did, but they don't. Group one reporting. Gavin is saying, Yay, Tuesdays! I take you want to see the end of the uh, Rome 2 campaign. Construction yeah, we're making progress on it. Right right now, the Rome 2 campaign, you know. If everything goes as planned, we might be on close to the last objective. Based off of what we had last Tuesday. Group 1 reporting. Research completed. Okay, was there any building that I had to build here? I've done the research module. Why is this not triggering? Oh, I think I've previously had issues with this game as well. And it looks like there was... no. I was hopeful. Group three reporting. Group 
I think I've previously had issues with this particular mission. Uh, I don't know why. But yeah. I might have to look online to see why this isn't finishing. The only thing is I don't exactly want to do that midstream because War Zone has been tricky on OBS and looking Major through stuff midstream completed. might cause it to crash. Like it's crashed before on, on me. <laughs> I mean, the good thing is that I'm completing all my research here. The soundtrack of this game is underwhelming. I want epic war music, yo. <laughs> I'd say probably the track that is playing right now is probably the greatest track that's on there. Construction complete. And this one only lasts for a little bit, so... Where are you guys? Okay. Well, folks, I think I'm just gonna end it here. I have no idea exactly what is going on. I don't think they're up here. Where's my other guy? Okay, I have one last place that I can think of to try and look. If they're not up here, I give completed. up. Research completed. COD mod. Mission field. <laughs> Mission failed, we'll get him next time. <laughs> it's looking that way at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea why this mission in particular does it. My guess would be... Don't tell me it's that thing there. Let's send him there, just to be sure. Oh wait, no, I have my whatchamacallit guys. Send you guys there. I have a feeling it's this stupid little water tower here. Because if you look on the map, there's a little Major blue icon. Completed. Oh, Group I'm gonna be so pissed if it's that thing. Research completed. You need to sing Newbie Bazinga. Oh, I am not singing. No, no. I don't want to hurt your ears. <laughs> okay, come on, mortar guys. Get into position here. Alright, so, so we're about to figure out if it was a stupid little water tower here. And... Well, if they hit it... One hit, two hits. Objective. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> oh. See, this is why I need to actually get a face cam. To have my reaction right now. That is, Toxic by Britney Spears is one of my favorite songs. But I, I, I'm still not going to sing it, no. Only, sing, only singing is for me. Uh, and apparently YouTube doesn't like you saying, lol, I am dead fucking water tower. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that, uh, that one water tower. I don't know how many minutes I spent wasted commences. there trying to figure that out. Commander, you have driven the new paradigm from this zone. To ensure that we continue to hold it against further enemy attacks, Establish a forward base on the plateau. Be prepared for enemy counterattacks. Examination of the captured structure reveals that the synaptic link technology was present at this structure, but was removed by the enemy. Once the forward base is established, we'll continue the search for it. Mission timer activated. What did YouTube say about me? <laughs> Don't listen to her, she's just jealous. No, it just didn't... Uh... It says said this message is held for review. Just didn't like it for whatever reason. Alright, so it wants me to build a thing over here. Fortunately, I have my truck over here that was already building up stuff. Um, what do I have to build here anyways? Current objective, project goals. Current objective. Because I wasn't paying attention there. 
Establish a forward base, build defensive structures. Okay. I can't believe... Oh, they're still coming in. Uh-oh. That's not good. Run away, truck! Run away! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I still can't believe it was that stupid water tower there. Major research completed. Uh, apparently the dead wasn't it, so it must have been the fucking. <laughs> Group three reporting. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Group three reporting. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Group three reporting. Group one reporting. Group two reporting. Group one reporting. Oh god, that's a lot of baddies. Yeah, it's a lot of units here, but it's a lot of smaller units. So, they should be relatively easy for my group, group to take out. Group three reporting. Group one reporting. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Incoming transport. Oh jeez, they have a lot of transports coming all over. Major research completed. Unit under attack. Crap, I forgot to order a pizza. Uh-oh. You're in trouble. You forgot to order a pizza during a newbie stream. Completed. Research completed. Hey, bunker busters. Those are things are pretty good for uh, defensive buildings. Exactly, I wondered why I was feeling off about this stream. <laughs> To commander. Construction completed. So let's see, how many do I have on this commander now? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then I can probably do one bunker buster once I finish doing the stuff for that. Production completed. Mission objective. Group one reporting. Group two reporting. Not even entirely sure what they want me to build all for this mission. Production completed. I hear Group another transport. Reporting. There you are. You're Incoming up here. Enemy transport. Right up here. Construction completed. 
Not too many guys on that transport. Thank you for staying up till 2 a.m. for my entertainment. You are fun to watch. Oh, appreciate it. Yeah, generally I stay up till about 5 um, most of the time, so this really isn't too bad for me. I'm a night owl at heart. And thank you for watching at 2 a.m. or whatever it is for you. If you're near Seattle, it's probably like just midnight now, so. Construction completed. I suppose it was too much to hope that we'd just take out that transport there, but... No, I lost a rocket. Major research completed. I'm trying to remember if you just run out the clock on this mission. It could be. Can't exactly remember. Group one reporting. Group one reporting. Assigned to Commander. Group 1 reporting. Construction objective accomplished. Oh, I just had to build something over that little thing there. Okay. Alright, so we'll end this. We'll see what the mission is going to be for the next one. And then we'll end the stream for today. Commander, we are picking up incoming transmissions at this location. Decoding in progress. Nexus, the synaptic technology you required has been recovered and sent for collection. Message ends. Commander, board the transport and scout the designated area for the enemy research facilities. Once identified, proceed to LZ number 2 for pickup. Do not engage the enemy at this time. Mission timer activated. Alright folks, that is going to be it for this episode. Uh, let's see. Also one question, if it's not too personal, did you go to college? I did actually. I'm a political science major. So, went to college, graduated right into the recession, all that fun stuff. So, obviously, unfortunately, I'm not using the degree. One day I might, but eh, what can you do? Alright folks, so that is going to be it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. If you like it, be sure to leave a like below. Uh, feel free to leave a comment on what you think of Warzone 2100. Uh, yeah, I'm looking to do this probably about once a week along with my Total War streams and all that. At least through most of the campaign. And then if there's interest, I might do some skirmish maps and that sort of thing too for this game. Um, also, don't forget to check out the link below for the game itself. It's a free game, open source. So, you know, you're able to completely enjoy it on your own. It's available on anything from Windows to Linux. I don't know about Mac, can't promise on that. But it might be available on Mac as well. Um, yeah, so we will see you next time. And stay tuned for, um, in the following few days, I should hopefully be able to get out a little trailer for my Tomb King series, which is going to be pretty interesting itself. So stay tuned for that, because I'm look going to be looking for uh, some personal input when Tomb Kings comes out. So see you folks later.